Hello techies, welcome back to our channel UiPath by Sujita. In this video we are going to learn about the basic concepts on exceptions. Before we start with uh, different exception handling mechanisms in UiPath which we already covered in our different videos in our previous videos. It is advisable to go through this video to learn the basic concepts on exceptions. So there are system exceptions, business exceptions, we heard about this right. Before coming to this, let us distinguish between the errors and exceptions. Errors. We heard about the errors, right? Errors are nothing but the events in a program which can't be deal with, which the program cannot deal with. Because, let us take this example, syntax errors. While compiling your automated program, if there are any syntax errors, it cannot compile, right? It cannot interpret or compile into a system understanding computer language, right? Rather, we are supposed to fix that issue and then again publish it or again we need to compile it. So, user errors, programming errors, all these are considered as bugs in your automated program. So, there is no redirected uh, mechanism, uh, handling mechanism to re reroute this kind of uh, errors. We, uh, the only way is to fix the bug and recompile, right? You are clear with this errors. Now let us coming back to exceptions. Exceptions or the events in a program which the automated program can deal with. It can be dealt, right? Exceptions or the events in a program which it can deal with. Example, Null reference, argument exception, application exceptions, many other business rule exceptions, all these comes under exceptions which we can handle, we can add a mechanism in our automated program in such a way that we can run some set of activities if this kind of exception been caught. Fine. Now, under these exceptions, there are two different subparts. One is system exception the other one is business exception let us see one by one with some examples system exceptions system exceptions or the exceptions that are linked to the systems which we use okay say for example image operation null reference exception index out of range exception because this is how the system been developed uh, been designed and when we are crossing the, when our automated process is crossing those limits, it will be thrown as a system exception. And we, uh, we can use the try-catch mechanism in UiPath to handle such system exceptions. Fine. Uh, can use try-catch mechanism to handle these exceptions. And as, as I say, all these exceptions are bounded into system dot exceptions in any programming language even in UiPath all these null reference index out of range application exception all these comes under system dot exceptions that is the reason in try catch mechanism we will have a generic caught exception that is system dot exception if we are not very specific about the exception that exception will be caught into this particular catch case right if we are very specific with the exception we can use system dot exception dot index out of range something like that right so this is how we can handle the system exceptions now let us coming back to the business exception. The second one is business exception. What is a business exception? Business exceptions are the exceptions that are linked to the business logic. It's in the name itself explains, right? It is linked to the business logic, right? Let's say for example, data mismatch, data validation, all these. Uh, let us consider a scenario where uh, we are collecting the information from the employee and updating the information uh, using a form in an application. Okay. Now, after collecting the data, when you uh, start filling the form in an application, it may throw an exception saying uh, the uh, email ID is not in a correct format. 
then our automated program should be uh, uh, programmed in such a way that the user is, should be notified about this so that user will correct it right also say for example the phone number uh, field is not accepting the country code as well say for example plus nine one or plus one something like that instead it is expecting only 10 digits in such scenario our applicated uh, our automation uh, program should recorrect it avoid the first two digits or first three digits and give a 10 digit phone number only to the field so all these can't be handled automatically by the ui path or by the by our program it should be using a program only that means we cannot the system cannot directly catch the exception business exception using try catch whereas we should use throw throw activity in order to catch business exception we should define programmer should define the business rule exception business rule exception using throw activity okay so that it will be catch in the uh, it will be caught in the catch block fine a quick recap let us use this one pictorial representation where errors are nothing but the events in a program which it cannot be dealt with for example syntax errors user errors programming errors right all these are considered as bugs in the program bugs in our automation where we are supposed to fix these issues and we should republish it whereas the exceptions exceptions or the events in a program which we can deal programmer can deal while programming the automation and here exceptions we have system exceptions and business exceptions all the exceptions which are linked to the system or the application are considered as the system exception examples are null reference index out of range argument selector not found image text not found application all these will come to application exception afterwards all these comes under system exceptions that is the reason we have a generic exception that is system dot exception if we are not sure about what kind of exception our automated pro process will give we will keep the system dot exception in our catch block right in try catch if you if you are known uh, if if you are aware of the specific uh, exception we can use like system dot exception dot so and so like index out of range or text not found right for more for more specific exception so all kind of system related exceptions comes under system exception system dot exceptions and we use try catch mechanism to handle this so that we will reroute our automated pro program to end uh, to execute some other set of activities in such scenarios whenever an exception been caught whereas business exceptions or the exceptions which can be handled by our program but cannot be catched directly using try catch we are supposed to use our throw mechanism throw then we can catch the exception for example data mismatch no customer input all business rules like i i gave you an example phone number or pin code or the data related right now coming to application application exception which you should understand say consider the same example where you are updating the data in a application all of a sudden the page might be uh, under maintenance or page not found so such exception comes under application exception that is a application exception right when you are updating something in an application and application is not available page not found right so in such scenario also we can reroute our automated process in such a way that we can retry some n number of time with a span of uh, uh, i mean with with some time limit right so that we can refresh the website we can ref refresh the application until it fine right it until it is available so i hope you are clear with this errors and exceptions before you start with uh, exception handling in ui path thank you so much for your support so far to this channel if you like this video please give a like and share with your friends and colleagues too if you are the new visitor to our channel, please do subscribe for more videos. Thank you so much.
Meet you through our next, re uh, next videos. Until then, keep watching, happy learning and happy automating. Bye-bye.